And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing a killer round. We're playing as a new and improved Wraith. We're going to take a look at his loadout. Uh, some old perks, though. However, Hex Ruin, Hex Sun Dying. Anytime they break Ruin, Undying will give it some second life. Hopefully give us some gen slowdown. Make your choice. If someone rescues somebody and we're 32 meters away from them, that rescuer is going to have the exposed status applied to them for 60 seconds. Barbecue and Chili is going to give us some more readings and some sweet blood point bonuses whenever we hook somebody. How are we going to find those make your choice rescuers? Well, we're going to run all seeing blood, which means we can see the ores of survivors within 12 meters whenever we're cloaked. And we're going to use the coxcomb clapper, which means our bell is going to be completely silent. Hopefully giving us a chance to sneak up on our pesky survivors. We're just going to throw some random blood point offering because, well, why the heck not? Uh, a couple of the new survivors in our lobby. Well, how are we going to do with the new Wraith? We're going to find out in just a second. And here we are at Larry's. Uh, interestingly enough, the survivors sent us here. And, well, it's a map that I generally don't like. I'm not a fan of Larry's. I hate it as a survivor. I'm not much of a fan as a killer. But I will say does have some potential for us. Okay. Well, somebody sees me there. Hi. It does have some potential for us. Hopefully the totems will be difficult to locate. Oh, hi. Hello. How you doing? I do not want to put you there. I'll carry you back this way. My totem, or one of my totems, is there. I was just as soon you not go sniffing around right there. Wow. I got you off the hook awfully quick, huh? Okay, are you gonna make that pallet? No, no, you're not. You're gonna need to throw that pallet, Kate. You're gonna need to throw that pallet, Kate. I guess I stand there? Okay, we can work with that. Yeah, get off my generator. Okay, you can come back here. Thank you. We're going to put you over here. Uh, we did not get a chance to have Make Your Choice go off because, well... Yeah, we're... Mainly because we'll... We were uh, they, we were too close because the survivors yanked her down like immediately. And honestly, not sure we're gonna get it here. We are gonna get it here. All right, where's the rescuer at? Ah, you're the one we want. Oh, there's God Pallet right here. Oh, hey, what's up? You're not, uh, you're not the person I was looking for, but you'll do. Yeah, that pallet now is gone. Your, uh, your buddy, your fellow, uh, survivor of the same, uh, outfit dropped these pallets. What's up? What are you doing? What are you doing? I haven't hooked you. Now oh, there goes the totem. Oh, 
Unfortunately, that's not the totem closest to me, so. Hi. I'm not really getting any make your choice value here if you keep, uh. Oh, it's the Kate. What do you know? Hi. Well, they would still be getting gens done. Kate, you can't possibly have DS because, well, you unhooked that person. That you necessarily would have had it anyway. Hey, do you have DS? You might. No, you don't. Wow, this is going to put a lot of pressure on this team. Oh, we're going to have a make your choice coming up here very shortly. Alright, we're just going to let you get off of there. Oh. Okay, you're not the one I wanted. I wanted the person who pulled you off the hook. I didn't see their aura though, Kate. All right, you might you might have DS, and I would deserve it if I got hit with it. Well, but you don't. Here's the key, though. One of these people has has it, and I just saw somebody get into a locker here. I have a feeling the locker person is who had the make your choice supply, but it's going to expire here shortly. We're just going to chase you. Hi. I didn't even have to uncloak for that. You came right back to me. You came right back to me. Nobody here for the pallet save. Nope, the flashlight's not going to do you any good. All right, where are you hiding at, my friend? Couldn't have gone too far. Well, our other people are healthy. We kind of want one of them to make the uh, save here. Well, that's what we wanted. All right, where'd the other person go? Yeah, he went right there. Hi. What's up? How you doing? Uh, hi. Yeah. Awkward. Okay. You're injured. You can drop that pallet. Make your choice not applying to the other person. I don't know if you have DS or if the other person has it. All right, you're dead. Hi, ladies. Wait, did you jump into that locker? How did I just completely miss you? 
Hmm. I don't know, but... Oh, you just got that... You just got that burn off in time. That's okay. We'll take that pallet and get this one out of the way. Oh, you do not need to be staying here, though. Megan, that's going to end really badly for you. That's going to end really badly for you, Meg. Oh, you again, you're just getting that off. No pallet left here, Meg. This is not a safe pallet, Meg. What you gonna do with it? And drop the pallet, Meg? This is not a safe pallet, Meg. You better... What you doing? We gonna go this way? Yep, that's not working. That is not working, my friend. Hi. Yeah. Second hook, I think, for you. Oh no, you're dead. Never mind. All right, we have a hatch game. We have a hatch game and we are super fast. Oh, hi. Hi, you, are we gonna go look for the hatch? Uh, or we can just do that. Oh. And that. Well, that is going to be that. So that's going to be a 4K for us. And I guess we should thank them for sending us to Larry's. This, uh, this map actually a good map for a stealthy wraith. As we get a very clean and very efficient 4K, we get a, well, we get our, our Rift Challenge done. We get our Daily done. We get just an absolute ton of blood points. As we racked up blood points in that match. Uh, and, uh, of course, we also get the uh, almost the double pip in the process. And we did it against the good lobby. So it wasn't like these were inexperienced survivors. Uh, it was one of the rank ones who actually sent us to Larry's. Uh, let's talk about that. We got, we got great value out of Make Your Choice in that round. We got a couple one-hit downs. Uh, that perk, like I said, on Wraith, it's, it's good on a handful of killers. Wraith is definitely one of them. And since Wraith has been buffed with his movement speed, in the past, you've seen us run this build, and when we have run it, we've done all seeing blood, but we would run it with the windstorm that allowed us to move very quickly. Well, since the buff, we uh, we move very quickly on our own accord now. We, we don't need an add-on to make us move faster. That's now part of the race base kit, which allows us to experiment a little bit more and bring well, to bring a very, very powerful add-on in the Coxcomb Clapper. Uh, no Wailing Bell to give you any notice. No Terror Radius. Literally, it gives me a perfect opportunity to to come up on these survivors and, and get the jump on them very quickly. And 
And those chases really didn't last long. I was able to get close. I was able to down them. Uh, the map offering, again, helped us, uh, helped us tremendously in this match. And, uh, you know, if we had been on an open map, maybe they would have seen me coming a little bit easier. It might have been a little bit harder for me to stealth up to them. I think I was able to use the design of Larry's to be able to, to sneak up on them a little bit easier. But whatever the case may be, this, this allows us now with the new, the new speed that's built into the race kit to be able to, to use things like the clapper in order to, well, just uh, to be a little bit more effective. And boy... I mean, I, I thought the Wraith getting Windstorm added to him and so, somewhat to his kit would make him a better killer. I actually have played Wraith with a decent bit of success in the past anyway. Uh, in this case, I think we really exhibited just how powerful the new Wraith can be, particularly when he gets a map that he, that he can be sneaky on. And again, uh, Larry's is a map I normally hate, but I've had a lot more success on it lately. I might be starting to warm up to it. But in any case, uh, the power of the new Wraith on display here in this particular match. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to play some more with him and definitely, definitely uh, have some fun like we did with him in this match. So I hope you had fun as well watching and enjoyed the match. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. It would mean a great deal to us as we grow the channel. New videos go up on a daily basis. And you can follow us over on Twitch at the link below at Geriatric Gaming 11 and get notified whenever we go live there. Until the next time around, thanks so very much for watching. Hope everyone has a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.